I've taken, taken significant time this summer to reflect with my family on the reasons why I sought elected office, as well as why I sought leadership of the BC Greens in the first place. It is with all of this in mind that I announce that I will not be seeking an another term as MLA for Oak Bay Gordon Head, and have asked the Chair of the Provincial Council to start the process of electing a new leader for the BC Greens in preparation for the 2021 uh, provincial election. This is not an easy decision for me. There's a long way to go. At the same time, I feel a deep responsibility and pride for the role the BC Greens have played in getting the province back on track to meet its climate commitments and to reframe climate change as an economic opportunity instead of purely an environmental issue. Millions of people, including many thousands on the lawn of the legislature and 100,000 in Vancouver two Fridays ago, are demanding politicians start acting to reduce greenhouse gas emissions. This incredible movement is what led is being led by youth, the ones who must live the consequences of the decisions that we make, and their momentum is growing. This is also one of the main, if not the main reason, why I believe it is time for the BC Greens to elect a new leader. It's time to let another generation take the lead. In the months ahead, I will continue to work on a number of key climate policies, including an ambitious Climate Count Accountability Act, and doing everything I can to ensure that Clean BC is fully implemented. I'll continue to push the government to prioritize the policies that will allow us to reach our 2030 greenhouse gas reduction target, and I will continue to work with my colleagues in the BC NDP to accomplish what was set out in our confidence and supply agreement. Stability is critical to me. It has always been critical to me. By giving advanced lead time, I know full well that a BC Green leader needs a full year to get a, a new leader, needs at least a year before the 2021 election to be known, to actually have the opportunity to share that new vision and to build upon the successes we've had. If I were to wait until next year, and the leaders, uh, the convention would then happen in the spring of 2021, that would only give such a leader a six months to until the election. I thought it was the responsible thing for me to do is to recognize that a new leader needs the time to have their vision shared.